Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of his teardown lab. You might know that I know a tiny bit, not a great amount, of uh, electronics, and I've sort of designed PCBs and firmwares for several products and this sort of thing. You know, you, these are a bit like those uh, funny things the old BBC are trying to make now, but uh, made sort of many, many years ago, probably six years ago, these were designed. So put that aside though, because I want to show you something. Oh, smashing up the place. I want to show you something that I was given and I thought we might have a bit of fun with this because you've always got to start somewhere. And this is interesting because this will probably cover a lot of analog type electronics. Sorry for the light reflection here, but that's a 300 in one electronic lab. And this is from Woodpunk Tim. Please look on Twitter. You'll see him. I've talked to him on there a lot. Um, yeah, and it's basically a kit designed to teach you about electronics. Um, we'll forget what's in the rest of the box for now. In fact, I'm going to take the box away altogether because we just don't have the room. There we go. Look at this. It's a lovely uh, looking console. Really technological here. And just to let you know all the sort of pieces, you've got here a tuning gauge, and that's probably a variable capacitor. You've got here a control, which is a variable resistor. You switch. With several push button switches, so they'll close the circuit between these contact points. Terminals. I don't know where these go to. These probably go to the batteries. I think there's batteries inside. Yes, there are. So this I think is the power terminals from the battery. A bit of breadboard for you to prototype out your circuits. A light sensitive resistor here, an LDR. An eight digit display, like you might have in your alarm clocks. And then a whole bunch of LEDs, just standard LEDs. And I don't see any resistors in the circuit diagram here for these, so they're just plain LEDs. And uh, an inductor coil, so this is all part of the little part here, which is an FM radio. Now this comes with a humongous book. In fact, it's just humongous, because it takes up the whole floor of the book, of the box, and it's about a centimetre thick and absolutely filled with loads and loads and loads of circuits. It's, it's really great. I mean, it does say 300 in one. Um, and you'll notice here when you look at it, it shows all sorts of components. There's ICs, all sorts of bits and bobs going on here. And that's because they provide some additional components. Of course, you'd need components for this because there's nothing on there. It's just ready for you to prototype. And you come with two packets. Uh, the packets contain can open them as they slide open and look integrated circuits resistors a whole pack of transistors there going on and then the other side you've got wires hook everything up semi-fixed resistors ceramic earphones capacitors it's almost too nice to open these really and start digging around and, and mess this up um, in fact, I'm not even sure I will at the moment. I think I need to plan this ahead, guys, and make sure we do something interesting. But while we're here, should we have a look at what sort of things we could make if we were so motivated to? Clearly, there's a radio. Oof. Just looking at this list, it's so huge. I'm just going to have to just sort of... Uh, we're just going to have to sample through this. Let's, let's see here. Look, there's silicon diode solar cell. A touch switch. Photo organ. I don't know what a photo organ is. I'm sure uh, it's probably uh, a 555 timer and it will play a tone based on light levels. Oscillating. Oh, oscillator using a power amplifier IC. Loads of logic. In fact, look here. These are all um, OR gates, AND gates, NOR, NAND. A whole bunch of logic there. CMOS stuff, more digital things. So these are, you know, again, NAND gate and OR. Buzzers. A multi-vibrator, flip-flops, latches, half adders. And there's plenty here. Let's see if they got um, if they work their way up something more intriguing. Look, a binary coded decimal. Look, a binary coded decimal to a seven-segment decoder. I mean, these are these are getting quite interesting here. Hexadecimal to BCD. Metal detector, rain detector, burglar alarm, temperature sensitive audio amplifier. Water level detector. 
Whew. I should think if you bought one of these kits and you went through this book and you really just sort of educated yourself on this, you would have a really good grounding in electronics. I think that there's, it's covering so much here. I would have absolutely murdered to have one of these as a kid. I really would. I mean, I, I remember having a very basic kit and it was basically the same sort of spring terminals jump, jammed into a bit of cardboard, but these are absolutely superb. Look at this. So I don't know where you get this. I suspect it's the sort of thing that you find in Argos catalog or one of those things. On the whole, I'm thinking it's looking quite impressive and I feel we have to do at least one little thing today and that's, let's see if these are the power terminals. We thought they might be. Do, 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 do. Get in there. No! Making a big assumption here, there's actually batteries in it. There is. What's happening here then? Yeah, there is power there. So where do you think the power will be coming from if not from these terminals? Oh, here, the power rails, of course. <laughs> Yes, just to show you that. There we go. So each cell in the battery bay is actually hooked up here independently, so you have uh, six voltage rails of whatever voltage you need for your circuit. How clever. So I don't, again, that really makes me even more confused as to what the terminals actually give you. Maybe they're just generic terminals. Awesome. So, hope that's been of some use to you to see that. We're not going to tear this down because it's too nice to tear down and I think anything we build will be almost like a visual tear down. I'm going to have a little think about this and hopefully in some of my future videos we'll make some circuits. Maybe we'll jump straight to the radio, who knows. As ever, I was going to say as ever thanks for watching but I almost forgot. Please feel free to comment down below on your experiences of the 300 in one or maybe the 20 in one or the one in one electronics kits you've had in the past. Feel free to click subscribe and as ever thank you for watching. Behold the power of electronics! Amazing!